The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja on Friday, 8 of April 2022, struck out eight out of the 15 counts reasonable felony charge the federal government preferred against the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdekanu. Specifically, the court in a ruling that was delivered by trial justice Binta Iako struck out counts 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 of the charge. The ruling followed an application Kanu filed to quash the entire charge against him. Kanu, in the application he filed through his team of lawyers led by Chief Mike Ozikomisan, maintained that the charge against him was legally defective. He argued that the courts lacked the jurisdiction to try him on the strength of an incompetent charge. Ozi Komi told the court that his client was unlawfully, brutally, and extraordinary renditioned from Kenya without his consent. He argued that since some of the allegations federal government levied against Kanu were purportedly committed outside the country, the high court therefore lacked the jurisdiction to entertain the charge. He argued that under the Federal High Court Act, such charge must disclose specific location where the offense was committed. More so, Ozikomi contended that Kanu could not be charged with belonging to an unlawful organization since the action of the federal government in prescribing the IPOP is still subject of legal dispute at the Court of Appeal and therefore subjudice. Consequently, Ozikomi urged the courts to dismiss the charge as well as to discharge and acquit the defendant of the entire 15 count charge pending against him. However, federal government's lawyer, Mr. Shaib Labaran, prayed the courts to strike out Kanu's application and order the prosecution to open its defense. He argued that the application would touch the substance of the case that is yet to be heard. He argued that Section 32 of the Terrorism Prevention Act imbued the court with the requisite jurisdiction to handle the trial.